Hello everybody, uh, and it's backwards. <laughs> no, it just looks like that, so actually you're fat words on the video. Oh, Whatever okay. Anyways, so this is our theories mm -hmm. on Sister Location. The next theory video with her will be about Subnautica. I have a pretty good theory on that. So, as for the sister location theory, I'm going to have her explain hers first, then we'll go over it, and then I will explain mine. So, yeah. So, basically, I go first? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, like, this is gonna be, like, a very long theory for it. Not long, long, like, like an extensive version of where we have to, really like, create a second video for it. It's just gonna be like how. Well, like, where does my theory come in? Yours can come in after. Okay. You can go first if you want. Well, my theory is, um, it has to do with the book. Yes, I've read the entire book. Um, Silver Eyes, Five Nights at Freddy's Silver Eyes, and um, uh, uh, William Afton isn't the creator of the animatronics, nor is he. Purple guy is... Purple guy is William Afton. And I don't believe he really had anything to do with the animatronics, except as for creating the business areas for them. Because Henry, as it says in the book, is... Except for the toy animatronics. And the phantom animatronics and the nightmare animatronics, I'm debating those. Because the phantom animatronics are clearly hallucinations. And clearly, okay, where Springtrap and William Afton comes into this. Oh, <laughs> Did you just get I just came up with another theory. Please don't. Talk. So, so you know how, uh, how it would be almost literally impossible for someone to be surviving to be cr surviving being crushed. Yeah. Sister location happened. Almost before everything. Except for FNAF 4 being at the same time. No, I just thought of something. Okay, so, like how you said before, like, you cannot survive being crushed. But... Five Nights at Freddy's 3 <laughs> happened, is the last game in the timeline. Yes, but... But then Sister Location is like a higher like perspective. It is um, more like detailed, more... It's got more different... More advanced. More advanced, yes, because... But more advanced doesn't mean more in the future. Oh, I just thought of something. Wait, so what if number three was actually after Sister Location? That's what I because, said. No, 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 no. And what I'm saying is, what if Purple Guy actually was the one that created the robots and he had a daughter? And the daughter, like, okay, so if you guys have seen Markiplier or Jacksepticeye play the game, then you would probably understand, like, There's the, a little girl. Yes, there's the little girl. And if you've seen the little, like, game that you play sometimes when you die, and you actually complete it, and the little girl is there. Or game you go, theory is And going. you go see, like, the, like, you go see the Easter egg where it says that she's, where, um, like, one of them says that she counts. She goes one, two, three. One, two, three. Then when there was just one kid in the room, she opened up and there was ice cream. So maybe the little thing was a baby being the one with the ice cream. The only ones that William Afton created were the uh, Funtime animatronics, which are Funtime Freddy, uh, Blora, Funtime Foxy, and uh, Freddy. Funtime Freddy. And the reasoning is why these, I think these guys are the ones created by Afton, is because they are meant to kill. They're no, not meant for no, no, any... No, they weren't meant to kill. It was a... Have you seen the blueprints? Have you seen the photos of the blueprints? Yeah, why? Uh, Freddy has a luring device and a child storage chamber in his belly. Tell me how that's not meant to kill. Oh! Maybe, maybe they were making it so he could make ice cream. No, they're, the animatronics are meant to either kill or capture kids and bring them back to the testing facility. Maybe it was Five Ennard. Maybe it was Ennard. Because Ennard is like a different animatronic. Maybe it's like a beast off of Mangle. Cause en no, no, no. Ennard is 
scrap parts that was brought back to life because of the female that baby killed. So basically, what happened is Inarda is oh the soul. Oh my god, I suck at drawing with this! Inarda is the soul of the child. Baby is deceiving. Uh, well, of course, she's meant to deceive because she is also built to kill as well. Did you so, not see the end of the minigame? <laughs> Shut up, okay? I'm like. She grabbed. I know what happens! A hand comes out of her giant bubble of chest and decides to steal the child. They're screaming, and the cat child is bleeding to death inside the. Inside Nobody the said she bled to death. Oh! 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 <laughs> what I think is... I feel like I'm marked up on sugar. What I think is, like, Rosbuski and the other YouTubers that work with him think that it's a testing facility, and I, I agree with that, but not in the way that they think it is. The testing facility is run by William Afton, but this is before everything, like, everything, like, Fred Bear's Diner is the same thing that's happening at this point. Uh, uh, the one that Henry built the animatronics for. But William Afton has made these nightmare animatronics based off the animatronics that Henry has made. And then he made the Funtime animatronics so that they can be rented out. And to steal these children to bring them back to the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 area underground. Because as we know from the blueprints of the establishment... There are um, hints of the uh, spring trap plush, the uh, so-called above-ground uh, world minigame map, and the actual room. And this leads me to believe that William Afton created two sets of animatronics, the fun time animatronics and the nightmare animatronics. And these the are nightmare th animatronics are actually just a figment of your kid's imagination. Do you realize that? The little kid was actually bitten by Fred Bear and was put in the hospital, but really the reason that he was put in there was because his dumb ass, because his dumb brother decided to put him in, decided to pull a prank with him and his friends, decided to take the kid and just what? Then why is the house a part of the sister location map? What? You haven't seen that. No! I haven't seen the map! You Wait! Haven't, you haven't studied the map of sister location? No! There's, there's like, little spaces where, like, you know the map that comes up when you put in the cheat for, like, uh, on Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the map that comes up where you're able to see where the animatronics are? That space is, that map that you see on the left corner, that's up on the upper right corner of the so sister location. So that means location. the guy works? That means that's the guy's house? Oh my god. And it's connected to the sister location, and then the so-called overworld minigame is also another area that you see, and the plus trap is on the complete other side. So we're either dealing with complete other kids that are going through all these things, and these testing on them, and the fun time animatronics jobs are supposed to be the ones that bring back the children. Now my brain is confused! Ah, I hate theories. My brain hurts. But you get it, right? I'm not getting this theory. Yet. Does my brain look like it gets it? Yeah. The only innocent animatronic in that establishment, and the only one that can actually think, because is Ennard. Yeah, Ennard. Because Ennard is like mangled. It's like mangled, except it has a soul. Yes. Mangled and does have a soul. She keeps she keeps repeating, "Help me, help them." Help me, help them. Now the puppet is puppet. Puppet is puppet is don't make baby. That's not the puppet. Sorry, sorry. No, they kept repeating that line like don't make the baby in every trailer. So wait, and plus plus, the, if you look in the corner, there's an Easter egg in the game where it actually says mention sister location in FNAF 2. If you look over by the puppet and you read, there's, there's like a little script there that says. Don't wake the baby. But the uh, puppet is the first child that was Duh. taken to that establishment. Y yes, puppet was. No, puppet was always there. Puppet was always the there. The puppet is... Puppet was the blind kid. Puppet was the blind boy. 
Yeah. Remember in the little mini game, he was the first kid taken. He was the blind boy. The first kid taken to the sister location to be studied on, and but it's they the had to boy. find something to put him in so that they didn't, because either they accidentally killed him or they purposely killed him. It's probably not. It's probably on purpose. And then, then the where sister location takes place, as in what I'm thinking, uh, this is after all the events, like coming back, and this is taking, this is, this is exactly before, uh, Silver Eyes takes place. William Afton comes back to the thing because it's his child that was murdered, and. He decided to give himself up. Then he comes back. He's more lenient, like more leaner, and he looks different. That's what it says that in the book. And then uh, he's because you know why it says the real ending when he's stuffed with an animatronic. Why? Because, oh, because that's how it describes him in the book. Because in the book, when he's finally revealed, he says. I am one of those animatronics. Okay. Do you get it? Nah. That's because Sister Location is exactly before Silver Eyes, and these kids are brought into whatever, and Baby has been up on the surface before, and this proves Either William Afton sent Baby to kill uh, Henry, Henry's the creator of the other animatronics, or Baby, uh, while she was once up on land, and you know how she says she was out before, mm -hmm. but they brought her back. Okay. I know it might not make sense now, but... I think I'm on to something. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your, what's your drawing? I'll show you after. Yeah. So, do you agree with my theory? Hmm. Mm. I completely forgot my theory now. <laughs> because mine is a big one. Yeah. Anyway. Wow, this video, this video is already 12 minutes long. It's a 12 minute long theory. Can we do the next video of my theory, please? Yeah. Okay. I think that's enough time we have for this theory on this video. Yeah, but, like, do you think my theory is sound? Maybe. You guys write it in the comments. Please, please tell us if you think this is better than mine in the next, in, in, in the comments. Just, just tell me. All right, now can we go on to the next video? Please! Okay. I'm dying over here. Well, I will I'm... see, I will see you all later. This has been the Magnificent Atom Fusion with the commander of his second uh, squad. And... <laughs> well, if you like the video... Please do leave a like, subscribe. I can't feel my tongue. That's because you... Please stop. Okay, smart girl, why don't you do your outro? Like, comment, and subscribe. I don't care. Okay. If you did like that video, please do like. Leave a comment if you want to tell me what to do next video. And... Uh, please do subscribe if you like it. I like a drunk person. Please do uh, subscribe if you like the video that much. This mu video can get like twenty likes or something. I will. I will act like a drunk person. Do not get. I will. I will. I promise. What happens if, if it gets? This video, you see, I will act like a drunk person if this gets twenty likes. <laughs> I'm already working on my drunk accent. No. <laughs> yes, I am. No. Yes, I am. You want to hear? No. Wanna... Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>